guys, my name is Cam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be starting my November haul and I'm not sure if this is going to be a weekly haul or a collective haul. I'll probably decide as I'm editing it or as I start looking at the footage. But yeah, for this first clip, I just have two envelopes and one package for a group order. So let's just get right into it. So let's start off with this envelope and let me zoom in a little since the box is out of the frame. So the note says, hello, thank you for buying Solgi from me. Hope she arrives quickly and safely. Let me know when she reaches you. Have a nice day and stay safe. From Mel at RBB June Sales on Instagram and Twitter. I guess I'll show these freebies that were hiding behind the card. So we have this Solgi from day two. This is so cute. I love clear cards. And we also have this photo of Irene. I think this is actually a photo card from her birthday party i'm not really sure but obviously it's not the real card because those cards are like hundreds of dollars but it's just a printed out photo and the actual card that i got was this sulky tag from finale era so basically sm released a bunch of merchandise like a keychain a hat and a sweater and they released these random photo tags with them so basically you got one random one out of the five members so here's silky's finale one she's so stinking cute i wasn't originally planning on getting these but i saw this for a really good price so i decided to get them and now i'm only looking for the day one one so if you have that one feel free to message me on instagram but next we have this larger envelope which is from a group order Ooh, so the note just says hi cameron thank you for joining my small group order let me know when it arrives be safe from crystal at kpop trade sales on instagram i think oh my god my voice went so high <laughs> So, as you can see, I did join a group order for the new fan kit photo cards and postcard. So this was the Revel of Kit 2.0. They also included these really cute succulent stickers. But first I'll show this postcard. This is from the 2020 season's greetings. Well, it's the same picture, but yeah, here's the postcard. She looks so stunning. I absolutely love the suit concept they did. And I'm so excited for the 2021 season's greetings as well. And I also got both of her photo cards. So here's this one. They're both the same photo, but this one has the signature back. I love this photo. And there's this one which is just the logo back. But yeah, I was really happy to join a group order for these since I really wanted to host a group order myself, but the shipping was really expensive. And honestly, it's just so much easier to just join a group order than to make one. Okay, I zoomed out a little bit since this box is really big. But like I said before, this is a box for some group order items. But yeah, let's just get right into this big box last. Sorry, the camera kind of shook a little, but I did get Red Velvet's Season's Greetings for 2019, and there's a good reason why I got this. Basically, I'm going to be splitting all of the inclusions with the joiners of this group order, and it also came with a pre-order benefit, so I guess I'll just take that out really quickly. Okay, so I took it out really quickly. I'm not really sure how large these are, but they're the ID photos from either With Drama or they're from the SM Talent store, I think. But they were basically, oh my God, these are so freaking small. They're basically pre-order benefits, but these go for a lot of money, like $15 each. So I was really happy when I saw this seller on eBay selling these. But here's Irene's, Sulgi's, Joy's. Wendy's and Miss Yeri's. So I believe that Joy and Irene are still available, but Yeti and Wendy are claimed. So if anybody is interested in either Irene or Joy, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Also, I'll be splitting the inclusions like I said before. So you'll be getting a bunch of posters and postcards pretty much along with the ID photo, of course. But yeah, here's pretty much everything I received in this first clip of my weekly or collective haul. Let me put everything in the frame nicely. I'll be filming a video of me separating all of the inclusions for this season's greetings like a mini group order 
order video and it'll probably be up by now so definitely click up here wherever the card thing is to check out that video but yeah i'll quit rambling and let's get straight into the next clip hey guys so this is gonna be the next clip of this haul today i just have a few envelopes and i thought that i'd go through what i got from amazon a few days ago so i got these four by six soft sleeves these are for like my four by six photos obviously they say four by six here for my sulgi photos and i also got two packs of dragon shield sleeves so i got the classic one that i always get and i also got the matte version of it i'm not really sure what these look like yet but i think they're basically the same yeah so one side of it is clear like the normal one and then the back is matte i ended up trying these since they were cheaper and i thought that i might as well try something new if that makes sense and now let's get into all of these letters so we'll start off with this envelope So the note just says, hello, thank you so much for joining my group order. Let me know when your circle card arrives from Agami Trading on Instagram. And they use this really cute Namjoon washi tape. So I purchased Lenjun's Wee Boom Circle Card. I believe this was like $2 since this was like a super big group order for a bunch of NCT Circle Cards. So I decided to join for Lenjun's Wee Boom Card. And they also included this freebie of Utah from Limitless Era. So thank you so much for these. Next, we'll go through this envelope. So the note says, hello, thank you so much for trading with me. I hope Wendy and Yeti get to you safely. Let me know when they arrive. Good luck on your collection from Olivia at Olivia Magic Shop on Instagram as well. And they also use this Dragon Shield matte sleeve. And the two cards that I traded for was this Wendy from Day 2 era. This is from the Day 2 version, as well as this Yeti, also from the Day 2 version. I absolutely love the backs of these cards. I think they're so freaking cute. But yeah, I believe that I traded some Leah photo cards for these. So thank you so much for trading with me, Olivia. Next up is this envelope. I don't know if I'm gonna cut out the unboxing part, but basically the whole envelope was sticking to this top loader since I think there's some sticky residue on here. So the note says, thank you for trading with me. Enjoy Irene from Shoddy Trades K-pop with Shoddies on Instagram. So basically I never thought that this was going to arrive so I was really scared since they shipped it out like in August but I did finally get my hands on Irene Summer Magic card and it is the normal version. Yeah I'm so freaking happy to finally have this card in my hands. Hold up is this fake or real? Is, is it real? <laughs> Does she look fake to you? Low-key, I feel like this is a fake card, so I'm gonna message them after I record this, but... Yep, I did finally get my hands on this photo card. Um, I'm kind of scared now. Anyways, next up, I'll go through this red envelope. Okay, so there's no note, but this card is really freaking cute. But basically, I finally got my hands, or not finally, since I just decided to collect these, but I did get my hands on Solgi's Day 2 tag that came with like the merchandise. Did get a little damage up here from this little strap thing. I did decide to collect these, and in my last clip, I think you guys saw the finale one, but I haven't been able to find the Zimzilla Bim or Day 1 one yet, so hopefully I'll be able to get it. These are honestly kind of expensive since the keychains were like $30 but thankfully i've been able to find these for like around ten dollars or the other one i got for six dollars but yep here's this tag and now we'll get into the final envelope for this clip So the note says, hello, thank you so much for buying Joy for me. I hope she arrives to you quickly and safely. Please let me know when you get her from Olivia at Moshi Sells. Why did I say it like that? But um, for the freebies, they included this photo of Jisoo, Cheryang, and then Jin. But yeah, thank you so much for these freebies. Oh 
my god, everybody is using these nice matte dragon shield sleeves. But the photo card that I purchased is this Joy Finale card. I believe that this is from the scrapbook version. But yes, I did finally get my hands on one of Joy's photo cards. Um, I did decide to collect OT5 Finale if you guys didn't know. So this will help me get one step closer to that goal. So I was really grateful to find this for such a cheap price. But yeah, thank you for selling to me. So here's everything I received in this clip of my haul. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, so oh my god, my hand is so big. Um, basically, I took out the Stulgi photo card that's in my binder. I pulled this in my Summer Magic album, so I know that it's absolutely legit. You can see the preparations and everything. And basically, I went to compare these, obviously, since I thought the Irene photo card was fake. And it most certainly is. You can definitely see in like the thickness, there's no preparations on the Irene photo card, and just the size is like completely off. Like, you can totally kind of see it. I think if I switch them around, you can see it a bit better. So when they're completely together, you can kind of see the silky photo card kind of peeking out in the back. And I did contact the person that I traded with. They haven't responded yet since they're having phone issues, which I completely understand, but hopefully they get back to me soon and we can figure out some sort of like compensation or something since so they never sent me a picture of this card. So I didn't even know that this was fake and I don't know if it was intentional or not them sending me this fake card or not, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Yep, there's that. I got scammed. Hey guys, so this is going to be the next clip of this haul. It's actually been like three weeks since the last clip that you guys saw and I've only received like four or five things in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I really haven't been ordering that much stuff. So the mail has been kind of slow. And yeah, let's get right into these envelopes. So we'll start off with this envelope and I actually can't show the back either because their address is right here. So I'll definitely remember to cover it up while I'm editing this video. So the note says, hello, thank you so much for buying Lunjin from me. I'm so happy he's going to a good new home. Hope he arrives to you safely and quickly. Stay safe from Sarah. And here are their Instagram and Twitter. And as you can see, the photo card that I got is one of Lunjin's Resonance Kino photo cards. And this is from the future version, I believe. We know blue is the past. So yeah, this is the past version of the Resonance Kino. And I'm still looking for the future one. It's kind of been hard for me to find. Yep, here's this card. Next is this envelope, and this actually isn't a package. It's actually all of these Sogi goods from my season's greetings, and I just wanted to show it to you guys. But I just have her calendar pages. She's so freaking cute. The bears are so cute. Kind of looks like a little dog there, but. And then there's these A4 posters, which are absolutely gorgeous as well. The 2019 season's greeting set is so pretty. Here are the larger items and I'll get out these smaller items right now. So I got some stickers. These are just the message stickers. I don't think I'm gonna put these in my binder, but we did get the main attraction, which is the ID photo. And I made this little cute frame out of one of the calendar pages. So yeah, this is kind of really tacky, but it is really cute. Like I kind of tested it in a nine pocket page and it fits. And then I just have some stickers here of Sulgi. These took forever to cut out. I'm not sure if my unboxing and sorting of the season's greetings will be up by now, but yep, here's Sulgi's stickers and I'll just put these posters and stuff off to the side. And now we'll get into this brown envelope. So the note says, Dear Cameron, thank you for buying. Hope Sogi arrives to you safely. Waiting for Red Velvet with respect. Truly. Um, I just miss Red Velvet so much. I won't get into it too much to take up your guys' time, but yeah, I miss Red Velvet so much every day. Best regards. Jessica from Bear by Tiger. They're a really big Sulky collector as well. Definitely recommend that you check out their account. So first up are some freebies. So they were actually selling this Sulgi clear card from Summer Magic for free since she's actually damaged. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but the edges are really, really curved and I think it's because of like weather and not proper storage, but yep, I got this clear card for free. So that was definitely cool. And I also got this little photo print of Sulgi with the shape of the photo card. She's so cute. Oh my God, her little pigtails. And as for the photo card that I actually purchased from them, I got Sulgi's 2019 with drama pre-order benefit. And this was actually the last one that I was missing for 2019. So yeah, my pops for that set are finally complete and she's so cute. The final thing for this clip will be this large envelope.
So the note says, thanks for trading and giving Sulky a new home from Orlesian Trades on Instagram, I think. And they use the really, really cute Sulky stamp from Time to Love and this, what is this? Oh, their Switzerland organizer package, I think. I think that's where this is from, yeah. Let me just go through everything one by one. So first we have this film strip from La Rouge. Yeah, I traded like two Joy Pruder benefits for all of this stuff. So I thought it was a really good deal. And I also got this large brochure poster, I think, from SM Town Live. I've actually never seen this before, but it's like an A4 size, maybe a little smaller actually, but it's from Rookie Era. And now we'll get into this top loader. I absolutely love large top loaders. So I traded for these two stickers and this one is like an ice cream cake one from the SM Town pop-up store. I've actually never seen these two stickers before. And then there's this one. I think this is from like one of Red Velvet's anniversaries. Don't really know where I'm gonna store them, but I thought they were really cool. But yeah, that was everything that I received for this clip of my haul. And let's get into the next one. Hey guys, this is gonna be the next clip of this haul. Sorry about the change in angle and probably the change in audio since the last clip since I'm filming from a higher angle. But yeah, today I have some envelopes, a bubble mailer, and this really, really large package from Yes24. And I'm super duper excited to get into this one just because I know what it is and it's super duper exciting. But yeah, I'll stop rambling and get right into these envelopes first. So let me first zoom in a little. First, we have this blue envelope. So the note says, hello there. Thank you for buying from me. I hope you receive everything quickly and safely. Please let me know when you receive your items. From Carolyn at Carolyn Trades. I really like this business card. I think it's so cute. But as you can see, I got quite a few cards in here and they're the yes cards these are from like the yes magazines in china i believe yeah so basically every month there's like a different issue or something and then they come with like random cards not really exactly sure how it works but i know that there's a lot for red velvet and k-pop groups in general so we have this la rouge one this red summer one this etude house one i think this was from their etude house photo shoot and then this Simzilla Bim one with this really pretty lettering here for her signature. But yeah, I'm not going to try to collect all of these, just whatever I can find. They're pretty cheap, like two to like three dollars each. Next up is this envelope. Ooh, okay, so I think in one of the earlier clips of this haul, I showed you guys like the Irene photo card that was definitely like a replica or like a fake card. So basically I reached out to that person and told them and they were really, really sweet and decided to send me their personal Irene from their collection, which was really, really nice of them. They said that they didn't know that it was a replica card and did it unintentionally, so. But I'm really happy to own this card. You can kind of see the tick marks here. Oh my God, I'm kind of washing her skin out, but yeah, you can kind of see the little edges here, so. That's how you know that it's a real card and it's not a replica. But yeah, I'm so happy to finally have this Irene photo card. Next up will be this brown envelope. So the note says, Hi Cam, thank you so much for agreeing to trade with me and giving Soul Reed a new home. Hope this PC gets to you safely. Please let me know when it does. P.S. I love your videos. Best wishes, Miles at Muji Garden. Oh my god, so this is actually one of my mutuals and they actually have a YouTube account as well, which is Muji Garden. So definitely check out their account. They post super duper satisfying like photo card videos and they included this sticker. So cute. And as for the photo card, I got this Soul Reen unit. I think this is from the middle note. I'll crack myself if I'm wrong, but yeah, I got this Soul Reen unit card since I did decide to collect all six from the Monster albums. They're so cute. I'll zoom out for this next one since it's a larger bubble mailer, but next I have this. So basically, I joined a group order for the Monster Projection Keyring, and this is Solgi's version, of course, since I collect all of her non-album cards. And honestly, I was originally just gonna buy from Great Music CD, but it was low-key, like $30 or $40, including shipping. So it would have just been cheaper for me to go through this group order. And I got this from Happiness Group Orders on Twitter. They're really, really efficient and really nice, so definitely check them out. 
So here's the light projection part. I'll probably insert a clip of me like playing with it on a wall or something. But yeah, this is just the projection keyring. It has a little charm of Sulgi, her name, and then the projection part itself. Honestly, they're kind of useless and I kind of hate how SM releases all of this merch for their groups, but you know what? I'll do it to support my girls. And here's the reason why we got it for the photo card. And of course I had to get this and it's so freaking pretty, oh my god. This light keeps washing her out. Yeah, so this is a picture of Sylvie from Monster, of course, and it has the really, really cute sun hat. So yeah, there's this card and the projection key ring. Now I'll move all of this off to the side and zoom out for the big box. So now we'll get into the big box from Yes24 slash G Market, and I did host a group order for these. These are not all of my own, but yeah, these are super duper exciting. The shipping was super expensive, but it was so much cheaper to split it with like my group order joiners. So yeah, I'll stop rambling and get right into it. Oh my god, this is so exciting. So I did host a group order for Sulgi's Sleep Happiness and Love photo book slash art commentary books. Let me just take all of these out and put them off to the side. So here are all of the books. I'll probably be posting a formal unboxing of these, so you should definitely check it out. I'll card it up here. But yeah, I'll just do a quick like overview of it. This is the happiness version. This is the sleep version. And this is the love version. They're so stinking cute. Sylvie's right here. And the main reason why I held a group order for it was for the photo cards. And also I think that there's like some postcards and magnets or stickers in them. So I'll be divvying them up for my group order joiners. And yeah, Thank you all so much. But yeah, that was everything for this clip and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, this is gonna be the next clip of this haul. Today, I just have four envelopes and I'll just get straight into it. So the note says, Cam, hello, thank you so much for trading. First, I just wanted to say that I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. My favorite video of yours is probably your red velvet photo card hauls. Anyway, stay safe and healthy. Let me know when he arrives. From Donovan at iRevetrade on Instagram. P.S. Keep up the great work. This is so sweet. Thank you so much for your support and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. And this really sweet note. And they included some like sticky note samples. This is really nice and really generous. Thank you so much for these. I'll definitely use them. And they also decorated the top loader with like some star stickers and happy faces, which is super cute. I always feel bad when like people package really well because when I package my trades and like my sales, I literally just like use like a piece of cardstock and then like tape the top loader onto it. But anyways, this is the photo card that I traded for and it's one of Taeyong's Super M cards. This is actually a trade for my friend. I believe that I traded an EXO card. Taeyong looks so good here. Loki still want to collect him. His blue hair looks so good too. Next up will be this envelope. So this note says, hello, thank you so much for trading. I hope they make it safely. Please let me know when they do. From Bloom Trades on Instagram again. So for this trade, I traded for like several circle cards. So the first one that I got is this Jamin from Wheelo from Reload. Oh my god, I said Wheelode. Here's this one. I'm not really sure the different version names. And I also traded for this Lenjin. So this Jamin will be actually up for trade to the other Lenjin one. But I do have this one with his really, really pretty purple hair. And yeah, there's that trade. Next is this envelope, which I think is another trade. And they use this Sims Olympum Joy sticker. Not the biggest fan of her hair. So the note says, Hi Cameron, thanks so much for trading with me. Hope Joy reaches you quickly. Please let me know when she does. Hope you're staying safe and healthy from Sid and their Instagram is right here. Thankfully, they used a side top loader so I didn't have to take off the tape. 
So I am making progress on my OT5 finale collection. I believe that I have actually another Joy one on the way, I want to say. Yep, here's this Joy card. She looks so cute. So kind of upset she didn't do any selfies for finale. She literally paid us dust. But we'll get into this final envelope now. And this is a purchase. So the note says, thank you for buying. Please let me know when Irene arrives from Moby Sewell on Instagram. So this is actually the final Irene card that I needed to complete my entire Irene collection. I'm so freaking excited. And it's her velvet photo card. She looks so cute. And for some reason, this card is actually like low-key kind of expensive. So when I saw it for like seven or eight dollars, I kind of didn't want to pay that much, but I just decided to pull the trigger because I literally couldn't find it anywhere. So yep, this Irene the Velvet photo card finally completes my Irene album photo card collection. So yep. Super duper happy to finally have this in my hands. So here's everything that I received in this clip of my haul. I really like the kind of pink and purple vibes that it's giving. But yeah, let's get right into the next clip. Hey guys, this is the next clip of this haul. Today, I just have a few envelopes. And then I also bought this Resonance album from Target. I went with my friend Jackson and we just picked up a couple copies of this. I only picked up one for myself, but I did pull Jungwoo's photo card. Here he is, he's so cute. And he will be up for trade for Mark or Taehyung since I already have Legends card on the way. And it also comes with this postcard, stickers, and then this poster but yeah i also pulled hedgehog's access card i think that's what it's called and yeah i ended up trading that for luncheon so that's why it's not here with the rest of the items but yeah i'll get straight into this first envelope since i already opened this one so this note says hello cameron thank you i hope you like the card and merry christmas So I did recently decide to collect the Yes cards, so I got this one from like the 2020 season's greetings. And yeah, it's so pretty, it like has this really pretty hollow effect. And here's the back, I'm not really sure why it says Wendy at Red Velvet. And then it has all of Wendy's information, I think that's so funny, I think that was like a misprint. But it is super duper pretty and I'm happy to have this card, I'll probably put it with like my season's greetings cards. Next up, we have this envelope. So this note says, hi, thanks for trading. I hope Lenjin arrives quickly and safely. Sorry for the weird packaging. Let me know when he arrives, please. From Chair Cherries on Instagram. Let's go through these freebies first. So we just have some random boy group freebies. So we have Jin, Jungkook, and then a Monster X photo card. So thank you so much for these. Okay, so I probably cut most of that unboxing out of the clip since that took forever for me to take out. But I did get Lenjin's Wee Boom scratch photo card. And yeah, there's not really much to say about this. He's really pretty and they are pushing that pure boy agenda on him, but I love his beret photo cards. So this is no exception. Next up will be this envelope. So this note says, Cameron, thank you so much for buying for me. I hope Joy reaches you safely. Please let me know when she arrives from Catherine at Flirty Yoon on Instagram. So this card is actually a duplicate. I do already have this Joy photo card. So if anybody has the remaining Joy cards that I need for finale and would like this one, feel free to message me on Instagram at Simzilla Bit. But yeah, she's so freaking pretty. I think I actually unboxed this card in like my last clip. The final envelope for this clip will be this envelope. So this note says, thank you so much for buying for me. Please let me know when Dijin arrives from Olivia Haysen slash Olivia Hay Trades. By the way, I love your videos. Thank you so much. Ooh, they sent hella freebies. So let's go through all of these first. It looks like they know my biases in all of these groups. So we have Sulgi from Oompa Oompa Era with Miss Joy on the back. 
Fujin from its Icy era with Yeji on the back, and Lenjin from Wee Boom era with Jisung on the back. So wow, thank you so much for these freebies. They're really, really thoughtful. And then the Sidujin card actually finishes up my Dujin collection, I think. So this is the last pre-order benefit that I wanted to collect for my Dujin collection. So yeah, this is the MMT one from the first round. She's so freaking cute. This is my personal favorite of the two, I think. I don't know, they're both super cute, but I'm super duper happy to finally have this card and they were selling it for a really, really decent price. I can see on my screen that everything is tilting a little bit this way, so I'm really sorry about that. But here's everything that I received in this clip of my haul and let's get into the next clip. Hey guys, so this is going to be the final clip of this haul. Today, I just have two packages, so let's get into this first one. So this first package is actually from eBay and I basically bought some more Yes cards from the magazine. So we have this Etude House one and I actually already have this one. So if anybody is interested, I'll probably be selling this for like super cheap, like two to four dollars. Next I have this Peekaboo one. This one is so pretty and I'm not sure if like this has anything to do with like rarity or anything, but yep, it has an S and this one is from Peekaboo era. Super gorgeous as well. And then I have this Russian roulette one and then i have this red summer one and this is actually different from the first one that i got in the previous clip but yeah there are my four yes cards that i got in this package i'm super happy to be collecting these and i think they'll look super duper cute in my binder the final package for this clip and this entire haul is this package from andy So the note says, first place winner of my giveaway. Congrats on the albums. I know I sent them a bit late. Sorry school ate me up, but enjoy from Andy. And his Instagram is it's Andy. So definitely check him out. <gasps> so let me put all of this stuff off to the side. But basically I did win his giveaway. So I got two copies of the middle note version of Monster. And then he included a bunch of stuff in here. Let me just go through everything really quickly. So I joined his group order for the Russian roulette Polaroid. So here they are. I don't really like this one because the lighting is so bad, but these are the Russian roulette Polaroids. Here are the backs. I'm super happy to finally have these since these were like the final four by six and postcard size inclusions that I was missing. And he also included a bunch of freebies as a part of the package as well. So we have this Silgi photo card. Bro, is this official? This do be looking pretty official, but super duper cute. This Dum Dum photo card. This is actually the group photo card. So thank you so much, Andy, for this. Oh my god. This photo card of Yeti and Silgi. Oh my god, Andy. These freebies are so cute. Photo of Yeti. Is that her and Shrek? And then this one of her with this like donkey thing. Oh. These are so cute. This photo card of Sulgi from the troll set. Another photo card of Sulgi. And then Wendy on the back. A puzzle piece of Rosé from Kill This Love. And then an Irene Lenticular from Monster. It's not really focusing. But thank you so much, Andy, for these freebies. They're actually so stinking cute. Oh my god. I especially love these two Sulgi freebies. Oh, super appreciative for you, Andy. And yeah. So here's everything that I received in this final clip of this haul and let's get right into the outro. So here's almost everything that I received in all of the clips of this haul aside from a few larger goods like postcards and stickers. But I can't believe that I started this haul all the way back in November and now it's been like almost two months since then. So super duper happy to finally have all these items and put them all away in my binder. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for staying to the end of it. And as usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay loud, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!